なめるな。
my lake? No, not at all. Actually, uh, I just got here. <laughs> Look, you don't have to be so nervous. Oh, wow. I can tell you went all out for today, Ichiban. Oh, you mean... The guys helped me pick this out. <laughs> is... is it weird? <laughs> no. I think you look nice. <laughs> so, where are we off to? Oh, uh, first things first. We're terribly sorry. Please come again soon. Oh, they're full too. Well, it is lunchtime, so I guess it makes sense. Let's try somewhere else. Sorry. Those were all the places I had in mind. Oh, really? I guess we should have made reservations ahead of time. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have thought about that. Uh, Sachan, is there anywhere you'd want to go? Me? Well, actually, yeah, there is. Oh, then hey, let's try to get a table. Oh, it's uh, not a place to eat. Huh? What is it then? What, do I have to spell it out for you? I mean, you're the one getting all fidgety. We've been walking all this time, right? Let's stop by. What? I assumed you were feeling the same way. But it's still light out and, and stuff. Since when does that matter? Day or night, I could really use it right now. You know, Sachan. Hmm. Do you, uh, you know, do this kind of thing often? Well, I guess. <laughs> I'm usually always in the mood. And how would you feel if someone you love was doing the same thing? Hmm. Well, I guess it's not something to be proud of. Right, so a hotel's probably a little fast, huh? What? A hotel? Where did you get that idea? Huh? Isn't that one? I meant I could use a cigarette. A cigarette? There's a smoking area a little ways up ahead. See? Oh, 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 oh right. Uh, yeah, smoking. I, I knew that's what you meant. Sure, let's smoke. Heck, maybe I'll have two. Are you okay, Ichiban? You know, I wonder what Naba looks like without his glasses. What? <laughs> Why? Oh, well, it's just I realized I've never seen him without him. Hey, you're right. Well, now I'm kind of curious, too. What if he's actually super hot or something? <laughs> Aw, that's kind of mean to Nanchan. Still, he could use a little spiffing up. <laughs> Get his hair done and stuff. I know. We should plan the guy a makeover one of these days. Adachi-san can help out too. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> hey, plan on it then. Say, wouldn't you rather spend more time with Nanchan and Adachi-san than be on a date with me? Huh? I mean, you seem like you really perk up whenever you talk about them. Oh, no, I, I didn't... Just something we have in common is all. 
<laughs> I'm only kidding. Oh, right. Speaking of those two, I just remember. They were telling me about a place near Jinnai Station that's supposed to be pretty good. You maybe want to go there now? <laughs> sure. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, look at this counter. Is that real Hinoki Cypress? Sh sure is. Everything okay, Ichiban? Yeah, I just assumed the place would be a little more casual, seeing as Namba and Adachi suggested it. I doubt those two have ever actually been here. Actually, come to think of it, all they said was that the place had good atmosphere. Here, let's order something. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's look at the menu. All right, I think I'm gonna try this. I'll have the shunkokagyo, please. Oh, miss, that's actually read Harutsugeuo. Oh, really? I... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> this is embarrassing. There's no need to be embarrassed, Sachan. Looking at it myself, I doubt many people can read everything on the menu. For one thing, a little pronunciation guide wouldn't hurt. Oh, no, you don't have to say that. It's our first time here, after all. I couldn't help but hear, sir. You find our menu unsatisfactory? Uh, no, we're sorry. Everything's just great. Well, actually, he has a point. Huh? A lot of first-time customers tend to get discouraged by our menu. We've had trouble keeping regulars as of late. Upon trying to determine the cause, I thought perhaps our emphasis on formality set the bar a little too high. Sure, formal's great and all, but when it starts intimidating you, it kind of loses its luster a bit. You're absolutely right! To that end, we'll be adding pronunciations to the menu as soon as possible. Thank you for being so open and honest. Wow, they're updating the menu thanks to you, Ichiban. You didn't let the fancy atmosphere stop you or anything. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> I just said what I was thinking. I mean, look at this. They put these two kanji together, but who's ever going to be able to read that? Well, actually, that's just shrimp. What? Shrimp? Even I could read that. Now you're embarrassing me. Now, now. Allow us to offer some onmitsu for dessert on us as a token of our appreciation. Really? Oh, I love onmitsu. Thank you so much. Oof. Who knew Capo style was so good? Seriously, that was delicious. I don't know if I would have ever gone there if not for our date. Thank you so much, Ichiban. Oh, really? Hey, I'm just happy you're happy. Ugh, no way. What's up? See that guy walking toward us right now? You mean those three guys? The one leading him? His name's Tanaka. He used to be a regular of mine. At your cabaret club? Yeah. He's president of an IT venture firm, but money or not, it doesn't make up for how he acts. 
He would lie to all the other customers saying I was his girl, so I banned him from the club. But even after all that, he'd wait for me at the back door. So I made up my own lie and told him I had a boyfriend. Jeez, that's pretty bad. Yeah, but he doesn't give up. He'd tell me, you're lying, or there's no way you have a boyfriend. And worse, he still hangs out back sometimes. Think he sees through you, or do you just need to be more convincing? <sighs> I'm not sure, but he says he can read people like a book. Anyway, this is perfect. Ichiban, play along, okay? Huh? It's all up to you. Now, act like you're my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Uh, but... This is so sudden. Huh? Saiko-san! What a coincidence! What are you doing here? What? Isn't it obvious? I'm on a date with my boyfriend. Boyfriend? You mean the dressed-up caveman? Hey there! My name is Ichiban Kasuga, and I'm dating Saiko-san. Jeez, way to be subtle. Do you believe me now that I have a boyfriend? Of course not! Come on, you know I can read people like nobody's business. This poor guy doesn't look even remotely your type. No way, no how. Saiko-san's boyfriend. Okay then. And what do you do for work? Actually, I'm a contract employee at Hello Work. A contract employee? Ha! You're a temp! And you think you can land a girl like Saiko-san? <laughs> As if I'd care about that. Alright. Let me ask you this, Mr. Boyfriend. If Saiko-san ends up 10 million yen in debt, are you gonna pull her out? I can pay that off in my sleep. Can you? I don't have that kind of money, so no, I can't. I thought so. You don't have what it takes to protect her. But I can listen to her and share in her worries, wherever, whenever, as long as she needs. Isn't that what a boyfriend's supposed to do? Hmm. Ichiban. <laughs> and what the hell does that solve? You'll sit around and stress out. The end. Except it's not the end. It's comforting to have someone worry alongside you. Knowing they care can give you the strength to keep going. It's like how multiplying two negatives gives you a positive. That's the kind of man I'd want. I'm glad Ichiban is my boyfriend. You serious, Sako-san? You're really telling me this scruffy-looking oaf is your boyfriend? You didn't hear me the first time? But... No, 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 no. How can I lose to a dumpy guy like him? Yep, you lost. So can you please promise to stop following me around? Sure, I'll promise. Right after I teach you two a lesson! What? You want to crush my heart? Fine, I'll crush you! Let's do it! Break 
right. Let's go! Asshole. Well, at the very least, it looks like he's done following you around, Sachan. Thanks, Ichiban. Way to play the part. Your little ad lib at the end was amazing. <laughs> hey, my pleasure. Still, that jerk totally ruined your new clothes. I'm so sorry. Ugh, it's all my fault. Nah, they're just clothes. But, um,. Uh... I should probably go freshen up. If it's all right, would you mind waiting a little bit? I'll go change. Okay. I'll be right here. Great. Be right back. find a vending machine. No worries. <laughs> you know, I wasn't sure how this was going to go, but I had fun. Thanks, Ichiban. Oh, uh, sure. Happy it all worked out. You okay? So listen, I know I used to be a Yakuza and all, and now that I quit, I'm basically just scraping by every day. I Ichiban, what, what is this all about? I'm not very bright, and I suck at studying too. For real, Captain Sawashiro's been calling me a dumbass since the day we met. But still, I'm working a steady job now, and I take it really seriously. I think I even got a good reputation at the office, too. Physically speaking, I'd say I'm pretty strong. I mean, I'm nothing compared to a guy like Kiryu-san. But I definitely know how to hold my own. I don't drink or smoke too much, either. And I can't say I don't gamble, but, well, it's mostly just a hobby, you know? The point is, I don't really have too much to offer. But when it comes to you, I give everything I have just to make you happy! So, uh... Let me ask you... Will you... Will you marry me?! My honor as a man, no matter what happens, Sachan, I will always be there for you. Listen, I know how hard it is to go it alone, especially as a woman. To run things at the club like you do, all while looking after your dad and sister? That's incredible! But if we're together, you won't have to bear all that on your own anymore. I'll help you look after your dad. And if anything at all happens with Nanoha, I'll be right there. I'm serious. You won't even have to work. You can hang at home and leave the rest to me. 
And I wouldn't push all the housework on you either. I'll clean, cook, do laundry, shop, whatever you want. And if we have a kid, you can bet I'll raise him right. And then one day, maybe we could all visit Arakawa-san's grave together. I'd tell him, look at this happy family I've built. You can rest easy up there, cause I'm doing just fine down here. Sacha? Thanks again, Ichiban. Today really was fun. Wait! Uh huh? Hey, hang on a sec! Sachan, did... did I say something wrong? Uh, no. No, nothing like that. I just need to get home. Up early tomorrow, you know? <laughs> it's probably the same for you too, right? Anyway, let's just keep at it. Um, but I... Uh... What's your answer? Good grief! What kind of moron proposes on the first date? Maybe it's some sort of late bloomer panic. I don't know what to say. I mean, uh, I could see you're getting turned off or something, but I doubt Sachan would be mad about it. But, well, no, she wasn't mad, I don't think. She just said she was leaving all of a sudden. Idiot. That means she's mad. Possibly fuming. Dare I even say seething? Well, that's it then, boys. Game over. Let's put the old dream out to pasture. Hey! Quit screwing around and help me out! For real! I got no idea what's what anymore! <sighs> so the date itself, that all went fine, right? Yeah! I mean, I was really nervous and awkward at first, but eventually Sachan started having a lot of fun. At least, I think she did? You know, now that I think about it, maybe she was already fed up with me at that point. Oh boy, this is where it all starts. The doubt's rolling in. So much for the hero of Yokohama. Look, hang on. This is Sachan we're talking about. If she wasn't feeling it, she would have called it real fast. In that case, she must have said something pretty stupid in that proposal. What all did you say? Give us the spiel, huh? What? Now? It's kind of embarrassing. Look, dumbass, if we don't know exactly what you said, then we can't help you. Now, spit it out! Uh, um... Uh, well, first, I talked about how I'm poor, uh, and how I used to be in the Yakuza. I mentioned I wasn't too smart, but that I was working an honest job. I said I don't drink, smoke, or gamble much. Yeah, that was a good chunk of it. Hmm, so far so good. No red flags or anything just yet. So, then what? Uh, then? Uh, oh, right. I said I didn't have much going for me, but I swore I'd make her happy. And yeah, after that, I proposed. Uh... What? That was it. Listen, Ichiban. Sachan might be working her ass off, but she's out there living her dreams. You think a girl like that really needs someone to gallop on in and save the day? Oh! Uh, Look, I know you didn't mean it like that, but if there was ever a way to screw up, that was it. Uh, Sounds like we got our culprit. But just to be safe, what else did you say? Uh... After that, I said I love that she's so responsible, how, how it's really impressive uh, for a woman to do what she does. Wait, what? You really said, for a woman? <gasps> Was that bad? Stuff like, 
for a woman, or even though you're a woman, that kind of talk can come off as pretty sexist. Even if you're just hanging with us guys. Really? Oh, boy. You raised a whole bunch of red flags, huh? I got a bad feeling about this. <sighs> Me too. So, was there anything else? Well, uh, well, I mentioned her dad and sister. She really goes out of her way for them, you know? Because of that, I said I'd take care of the bills and she could just hang out at home. Oh, shit. I'm sure you meant you just wanted her to take it easy. But you don't think Sachan's at the club just for the money, do you? I, I, I know there's more to it than that. Maybe, but the way you said it might have been misinterpreted to mean otherwise. I get you were panicked. But there had to be a better way to phrase that, right? Oh, man! Oh, what I wouldn't give to go back and do it all over! Well, let's be doubly sure there is not more. Did you say anything else after that? I did. I said that even if Sachan did stay at home, I'd help out with the chores. And that if we ever had a kid, we could all visit the boss's grave together? Hmm... Uh... Is that finally it? You didn't add any more fuel to the fire. No, that was the last of it, I think. Well, you sure went out with a bang. So you said you'd help with the chores. Noble, but I doubt it earned any points. That more or less gives the impression you think chores are a woman's job. And depending on the person, talking about having a kid can be pretty shaky territory too. Some couples can't even have kids, so it's not like marriage is all about starting a family. And you topped it off with a planned visit to Arakawa's grave. That almost sounds like you want to marry her just to make the old man proud. Hey, come on! You're saying every single thing I said was wrong? Oh, this sucks. But seriously, what the hell do I do now? Well, might just have to apologize. True. She might be fed up with you and all that, but it's better than saying nothing. Okay. Just gotta make things right. Hey. Bye. ありがとうございました。
してんのか黙れ Let's do it! to the next level. Let's do it! What a coincidence. Oh, no. I was looking for you. I wanted to apologize for yesterday. Oh? Apologize for what? I wasn't thinking about how you felt at all, and I ended up saying a whole bunch of terrible things. So, yeah. I want to apologize. Was what you said that terrible? I talked to Adachi-san and Namba about it afterwards, and things became pretty clear. First off, I made a bunch of weird assumptions saying stuff like, for a woman, and junk. And even though I know you take the club really seriously, I spouted off about how you could quit your job, you know, if we got married. Oh, and also, I said I'd help out with the chores as if you'd automatically be the one doing all that. There's more. I, I was talking about having a kid, like that was a given too. And then, on top of that, I said we should visit the boss's grave and put him at ease. Th that wasn't a lie, but I didn't mean to make it sound like I only want to get married for Arakawa-san's sake. Uh... I know I panicked, but it wasn't cool that I disregarded your feelings like that. Really. I'm so sorry, Sachan! That's it? You came all this way just to say that? <laughs> You're silly. I wasn't worried about that one bit. Huh? But I... I mean, sure, maybe those weren't the most tactful things to say, but no biggie. Work at a cabaret club long as I have and you hear a whole lot worse. Well, then why did you... Well, it's just that we first met in kind of a weird way, you know? We're like partners in crime, you and me. Just think about how much we've been through. I guess at some point it started to feel like having you around's a given. <sighs> and, well, I think a little romance might get in the way of everything. In that sense, I think it'd be better if we went back to being friends. Don't worry, though. I'm with you to the very end. Sachan. That's all there is to it. So don't beat yourself up, okay? Like I said before, let's just keep at it. See ya. Damn it! 
it. <sighs> okay, Ichiban. Right. Come on. Time to make some moves. Hey, good morning. Oh, Kasuga-kun. Morning. Let's give it all we got today, yeah? Uh, sure. Uh, listen, uh, can I talk to you for a second? Huh? Oh, is this about organizing the warehouse? Don't worry, I'm on it. Uh, no, you, you see, uh, there's something you should know. Why don't we grab a meeting room? Huh? Uh, okay, sure. Huh? My contract's been... terminated? I know. Crazy timing. Remember how it was supposed to renew end of next month? Well, I thought about trying to get you a raise, but just yesterday, City Hall went and denied the renewal. Uh, uh, w was there a problem with my quality of work? No, 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 no. Kasuga-kun, you've done an outstanding job. But... Apparently, the city's budget is getting pretty tight. It seems they've no choice but to start cutting back on contractors. Right. I see. Understood. Well, uh, let me just say, thank you for putting up with me. I'm guessing I'm done after this month. Well, for what it's worth, I'll be sure to finish strong. Uh, no. Uh, we'd actually like it if, uh, if today could be your last day. You want me to use my PTO? I mean, it's true I never took any, but I don't think I have that much stored up, do I? Oh, well, you won't have to worry about that. Uh, they made an exception, and will mark the rest as PTO as well. <laughs> They hardly ever do something like this. Oh, jeez, I, I don't deserve that. You don't have to give me any special treatment. I, I can just work until... I'm really sorry. This is just what the higher-ups have decided. Just know I'm grateful to you, all right? Okay. Well, with that, thank you for everything you've done for me. No, 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 no. Uh, thank you. Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Excuse me. So. Thank you.
Come on, get a grip. Everything's right back to how it used to be. Okay. That's him, right? Yeah, that's him. No doubt about it. Well, it's about damn time. Welcome home, Kasuga-san. Huh? Who the hell are you? We just want to do a little interview, that's all. You're basically the talk of the town. And why is that? You take bribes from former Yakuza, then ship him off to do shady jobs all over town. So... What say you fill us in? What is this shit? Come on, the secret's out. Hello Works, a hookup for the Yakuza. The guys who broke up the Omi and Tojo have been off living the good life, right? <laughs> You're no exception. What? Who told you that? You can't just believe everything you hear, you know? <laughs> All right, simmer down. <laughs> now, be real. Just how much are you making? Nobody wants a bunch of former Yakuza wandering around. Doesn't that weigh on your conscience at all? Back off! <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, he's out of control. The real Ichiban Kasuga's on the loose! Well, they may call him the hero of Yokohama, but deep down he's just another Yakuza! Yakuza feeding off other Yakuza, no less. Oh, honor and duty, my freshly bruised ass! Okay, cut. I <laughs> oh, wasn't smart of you to get rough on camera like that, Kasuga-san. Oh, you're in big trouble if this ever goes online. Toss a million my way, however, and it's yours. Have it ready by tomorrow. You think I'm gonna give in to this crap? You think anybody's gonna buy your stupid act? Oh, <laughs> a little editing goes a long way. Wait and see. Couple of clicks here and there, and everyone will think you threw a regular haymaker. Yeah, well, best of luck, pal. You sure? I mean, you're already going viral as it is. Ask yourself, do you really want to throw oil on that fire? Viral? Do I look like I'm sick to you? Huh? <laughs> oh, come on. Have you not seen how people are talking about you online? Can't say I have. Not a big web guy. Oh, seriously? Ugh, what a pain. Hey, show him the video. What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya. Let's get to it, ladies and gents. Our perp of the day. <gasps> this man here is Ichiban Kasuga, 
a former gangster who was heavily involved in the dissolution of two major Yakuza factions four years ago. On top of that, some people even call him the hero of Yokohama. This exclusive footage was secretly recorded in Yokohama at a real hello work. Here we see none other than Ichiban Kazuga brazenly working the front desk. Meanwhile, the man sitting across from him is yet another former Yakuza. The hell is this? Sasaki? This was like a misunderstanding! Ichiban Kazuga seems to be whispering orders to his ex-Yakuza cohort. Then, having received his instructions from Kazuga, the ex-Yakuza leaves Hello Work. Only to make a beeline for... A mini-mart, a drugstore, and a fancy boutique! We catch him stealing things right off the shelves, even going so far as to use a fake hand! Hey, hold up! That ain't right! Finally, it looks like Kasuga then buys the items from his personal thief at a deep discount. According to our extensive research, in just this day, a whopping 2 million yen's worth of product was stolen. Kasuga bought the lot for an unheard of 20 grand. In other words, he's having down and out ex Yakuza steal for him, then making a tidy profit reselling the stolen goods. This is the secret. No, the true face of the hero of Yokohama! Hey, what the hell? Which one of you made this? <laughs> like she said, it's the Tatara channel. She's pretty much a god, and with five million subscribers at that. I mean, if anything, you should be proud you made it on her show, Kasuga-san. My ass I'm proud. This whole thing's bogus. Bogus? <laughs> Dude. They got the whole thing on video. <laughs> oh, I see now. It all makes sense. That's gotta be why I got let go today. It's just got to! Anyway, look. We got you on video, so... You gonna buy it off us or not? Like hell I am! I haven't done a damn thing wrong, you bastards! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a shame. Guess we got no choice. How about we have this guy take a little nap, then move on to the next target? <laughs> next target? Who's that? All right, you're up, Mr. Bodyguard. So, you want me to beat this guy down? Yep. Just enough to gonk him out. Oh, uh, try not to put this one in the hospital, okay? <laughs> Who's this dude? I met him online. I have him lend a hand whenever we're doing a risky shoot. Wait, you don't know? Top Street Fighter online sensation Asakura channel? Ring any bells? <laughs> Man, he's trending like crazy right now. Oh, hey, Asachi, here's an idea. Why don't I record you knocking him flat like a pancake, eh? <laughs> I'll feature you on my channel as a guest, huh? What do you say? Sure, whatever. As long as I get to fight. Hell yeah! Oh, we are jumping straight to the front page with this one, huh? <laughs> All right, let's get footage, then go hit up that Sasaki creep. Wait, Sasaki? Why are you bringing him into this? Why do you care? He's just a chump from the Hiwatashi clan. And, I'm afraid, he's next on the chopping block. <laughs> We're gonna give him a little interview as well. How does it feel to have quit the Yakuza and have it blasted all over the internet? You asshole. Couple that footage with this fight, and we're talking at least oh, five million views easy. No Get off! He's giving everything he's got to rebuild his life right now! You're not gonna get in the way of that! The battle is on! Yeah! Cool. 
Gotta say, you're pretty tough. <sighs> Thanks. You can relax. You proved you're the real deal. Let's go again soon, yeah? And next time, we do this legit. Now smile for the cameras. <sighs> that guy means business. As always, the Tara Channel is on the case, ready to research, reveal, and rebuke the crimes running rampant around the world. The Tara Channel. <laughs> Adachi-san! Hey! I was just about to call you. You'll never guess! I'm sorry, Kasuga. He pains me to say, but I have to close up shop. Huh? Yeah. Namba's coming over to my place. Apparently, he suddenly got fired, too. What the hell? Seriously, what's going on? Oh, they gave me the same speech as you, Kasuga. I got into work, then immediately got called in by my boss who said I didn't have to come in anymore. And I got a call from the bank. They told me I couldn't take out another loan and there was nothing I could do to change that. When I asked why, they said their assessment standards are a company secret. And I'm barely hanging in there as it is. If my financing gets cut off, I'll have no choice but to throw in the towel. Damn. And all three of us either lost our jobs or got abandoned by the bank. Yeah, not to mention those jerks who started picking on Kasuga. It can't be a coincidence. Right. Now, as to what caused all this... Just who the heck is she? A content creator. Supposedly, she specializes in call-out videos. Call-out videos? Well, thanks to smartphones, these days anyone has a chance to be a whistleblower. Next thing you know, the video's racking up views on a channel just like this. One day, they might show a video from a woman trying to get back at an abusive celebrity. The next, you might see a tip toward political corruption, usually from some kind of secretary. Okay, so it's kind of like a tabloid? Well, that's a simple way to put it, yeah. Thing is, anonymity is super prevalent on the internet, so not many stories are true. It typically falls to the channel's user to sort through the trash. The more well-researched and credible the stories are, the more popular the channel. Our so-called Tatara channel is apparently at the top of the heap when it comes to credibility. Guess she even helped solve a real-life crime, and all because of a video. As you can imagine, the politicians and police follow her pretty closely. And the video of me, what about that? That was a total load! Well, that I'm not so sure about. Maybe there's a tip so incredibly well-crafted, even Tatara couldn't see through it. I wonder who gave her the tip in the first place. Uh, she never reveals the identity of her sources. That's why she always gets the big scoops. So when exactly did the video get put online? Three days ago. Since then, it's hit three million views. And now that it's on the Tatar channel, you can bet the world believes every bit of it. Do we have any way to get in touch with her? Sure. You can always try and DM her. I already did, though. No response so far. But even if she did take the video down, what's done is done. Once something gets uploaded, copies of it start spreading like wildfire. And what makes this whole mess even sadder is, 
Those who eat this stuff up don't even really care about the truth. They don't? Then what the hell's the point? Really, most people just want a target. A punching bag for their own problems. You can't go around trashing innocent people. But if it's someone who's proven to be evil, well, that's a different story. So it's bullying, rebranded for the modern era. Well, on the other hand, this stuff has actually served as a bit of a crime deterrent. We uploaded Rio Aoki's confession four years ago, remember? The cultural climate's been changing ever since. Uh, now it's our turn on the chopping block, is that it? Talk about irony. Oh, I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Namba, this is my fault. Huh? If I hadn't been so naive, none of this would have happened. Hey. You two turned your lives around, and I went and ruined everything! I'm so sorry! Yeah, truth be told, I had a feeling you'd take it that way. Why would this ever be your fault, you dumbass? The problem's obviously whoever spread the lies. And what's more... Don't underestimate us. We've ridden out rougher storms than this one. I'll say. Compared to sleeping outside in the snow back when I was a bum, this is a regular slice of heaven. Come what may, I'll crawl my way out of hell as many times as it takes. Pretty sure you'd do the same, right? Guys! Thank you! Look, just know... I won't be able to help you get ex-Yakuza back on their feet anymore. Yeah, not like you could, seeing as you lost both your source of jobs and the means to hand them out. I feel like a joke. Especially after all that talk about carrying out the boss's legacy. Well, look, right now... Just do your best. Besides... It's fair to say more Yakuza are gonna come looking for help. You'll have to explain all that's happened. Yeah, you're right. <laughs>